welcome to another Python programming video. Today we will do something called computer vision. So we will build a QR code reader. It also works great with the barcodes. So it's gonna be a computer vision project and we, we don't want to lose any time so let's begin i will start sharing my screen so here as you can see on the left hand side we have the article that uh, i published on medium and i will follow the instructions in this article so if you are watching this video you can check the article i will add the link below and then uh, we can keep going so as i mentioned in the subtitle it's a machine learning project we will use a library called pi z bar so let's check what it is and let's begin all right i'm not gonna read the whole thing you can check that later i will go to the demonstration part here we go so i have my anaconda navigator on the right side as you can see so i have an environment called deep so that's where i do most of my deep learning projects so first i will start the terminal window in this environment so how do we do that we all go to the play sign click on that and open terminal there we go so we have our terminal and our environment is activated at the moment this is our main terminal which we don't need so here we go libraries first thing first we have to install the libraries that we will need in this step we are installing the following libraries pillow which is a image editing library and the second library we will use is called OpenCV who are familiar with computer vision will know about this library which is OpenCV library and the third and the last library that we need to install is PyZBar. So this is the library that's gonna help us to decode our barcodes and QR codes. So let's move on. How to install pillow library? We will use PIP, which is a Python library manager all right let's go ahead and type pillow it's already there perfect since I already have it installed it doesn't need to install it so yeah what's the next one open CV let's see open cv this is how we install this library perfect since i already have these libraries that's why it's passing fast if you don't have them it's going to install them for you thirdly we will install this library this machine is a Mac operating system running machine. That's why I'm going to use the brew install. And then 
the home brew is gonna go ahead and run and install the library for us. Meanwhile, we can enjoy a cup of tea. All right, installation is completed. Yay! Well done. So we have used brew install and I will go ahead and pip install just in case. IZVAR. So this is gonna fast perfect so let's move on the coding function all right so for this project uh, I mentioned already in article that the Jupyter notebook is not the best way to create this project so I recommend using your regular text editor that you are using in my case i'm using adam okay it's opening up there we go let me show you okay let's close this and this Okay. Oh, I was trying to get this little down. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Now we will begin by importing the libraries. We can go ahead and just copy those and paste them. And since we didn't save it, as Python file, I will go ahead and save it as our QR code reader.py. Perfect. So let's keep going. Now we are creating the decoding function. All right. What's happening over here is the library that we just installed is decoding. I mean, it's reading the frame, which is the camera. So in this function, which we will uh, create in the next step, we are turning on the camera of the computer. And with that, our function will run and it's going to try to decode any barcodes or QR codes that you show to the camera. So that's what's happening over here. And then if it finds one, it's going to go inside this for loop. And what's happening over here is First, it's gonna draw a rectangle around our QR code. And then, which means it has detected the, the barcode or the QR code. This is the first step. And then it's getting the information of that barcode or QR code and then we are drawing a rectangle using OpenCV, which I mentioned earlier. It's a, it's a great computer vision project. I mean, great computer vision library. 
So it's drawing a rectangle. These are the points that we just assigned over there. And then this is the color of the rectangle, the RGB values. And then lastly, the thickness of the lines. In this case, we are going to make it two. If you want to make it thicker, you can increase the number or make it thinner, you can decrease that value. And then uh, we are going to add text. So that text is going to show the information stored in that barcode or the QR code. So this is the font we are using. And then we are using the put text function by CV2 library, which is the OpenCV library. So we are adding that information on the rectangle that we just created over here. So same thing goes here, where do you wanna add the text? All this X, Y, Z, X, Y, W, H, which are the coordinates and all those stuff. And then the color, the thickness, the scale, how big you want your text to be. And that's it for adding text. And then lastly, we are going to store that value, that information as a text document. So this is gonna create a text document called barcode result, and it's gonna write the recognized information in that text document. One thing to keep in mind, if you show multiple uh, QR codes while running the program, in the same program without stopping it, it's gonna uh, overwrite this text document. So I recommend going by showing one by one and changing the, the name of the text file so that it doesn't go and overwrite. All right, so we are done with the decoding function. Uh, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and check the article if you want to learn more. I'm trying to keep it simple and go through the main things in this video. So here is our main function. I'll go ahead and paste that. And what is happening in this main function is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are turning on the camera in, in your computer, zero is usually the main camera of the computer. If you are using an external camera, this value might be changed to one or two, depending on how many cameras your device has, your computer has. And then the next thing we are doing is we are getting the frame, which means the camera is reading. These are like OpenCV functions that we have to use. And then in the next uh, step, as I mentioned, we are reading those values, those frames. And then here we are running the function that we just created over here. So in this function, it gets the frame and then goes inside this function and then tries to detect those QR codes in our frame. So that's how it runs. So it's always trying to see. This is how the machines try to see and find the information that you're asking the computer to find. So that's why we are using a function inside a function and the for loop inside the function. So that's how you keep the things going. All right, over here, we are, we are creating a window uh, using CV2. 
our title of the window is going to be barcode QR code reader and we're going to show the frame which I mentioned the camera in that window and so this will keep going since it's a while loop and over here if you let's say you want to break the loop and how can you do that you have to have break uh, inside that loop and here we added a case where if the escape key is pressed it's gonna exit the loop so that's how you exit the loop all right otherwise it's gonna keep going and the program might crash if you don't have this break inside the loop and then when we exit the loop we are releasing the camera it's also another function and destroy all windows which means it's gonna close the window that we just opened and then lastly over here we have the case where we are running the main function which is this one so this is help us to start the program so it runs the main function and inside the main function we are calling the read barcode function and this is how our program starts working so if you don't call the function the, the function is not gonna work so that's how functions work so you, you have to call them all right so here in the article i also shared a quick demo of the program so you can check that video too but uh, in this video i will run the program and let's see how it goes so let's save the file and then I will go back to our terminal and make sure you are in the right environment that we just installed those libraries and let's go to my folder coding so the program was saved inside that folder so I will just type python QR code so a shortcut is if you press tab it's gonna find that file that starts with QR code and then you press enter and then the program is gonna start working sorry what's up oh sorry I have to clean this. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, as you can see, that was a little one letter mistake. <laughs> okay, as you can see, the window is created and this is our title that we created in the function and I'm going to show our program I mean the computer is trying to find a QR code in this frame so what I will do is I will go ahead and show a QR code okay so the image of the of this article I mentioned there's a QR code and it works so this is the article and this is the image of the article so I will zoom in and see if our program is gonna detect that QR code 
as you can see it detects from the image and it knows that there is a link in that QR code by the way that link goes to to this YouTube YouTube channel so as I said it's like solving a puzzle I will go ahead and type part code tests in Google images just to check so here is another barcode let's bring it close to the computer as you can see let's come closer yeah as you can see it detects the barcode it draws a rectangle around it and it types the value on the code isn't that cool I think it's really cool let's try another one yep so that's it how do we stop the program we go and click on escape key and then it's gonna stop the program for us that's it and yeah I will uh, share the link of the article and I will share my personal blog in the description below so you can feel free to reach me if you have any questions you can leave a comment if you have any uh, issues while running the program so feel free to reach me I will try to help you on the solving the program all right that's all for this week I will see you in the next week's tutorial video until then stay safe and happy programming bye